Good day. How to solve this problem? Here we are finding the value of x. Let a be equal to the first term here, which is x minus 1 over x raised to the power half. And then let b be equal to the second term here, which is 1 minus 1 over x then raised to the power half. So when we write this equation again in terms of a and b, we have a plus b equals to x. And uh, also from here, we can write this one again and square both sides. So when we square both sides, we have a square will be equals to square this side. Square we cancel this raised to the power half. And it will be equal to x minus 1 over x. And also square this side as well. We have b square. We give us 1 minus 1 over x. Then let's subtract both sides. Let's subtract this side. And we have from here a square minus b square. This will give us on the right hand side. We subtract as well. We have x minus 1 over x that is the side of a squared which is minus the side of b squared we have 1 minus 1 over x so from here this minus we open this bracket here then we have a squared minus b squared will be equal to x minus 1 over x then this minus open this we have minus 1 then plus 1 over x so minus 1 over x plus 1 over x we cancel out then we are left with x minus 1 so we now have a square minus b square equals to x minus 1 and from here we can write this again in form of difference of two squares so difference of two square we have a plus b times a minus b will now be equal to x minus 1. And uh, we know from here that a plus b is equal to x. So instead of writing a plus b now, we can write this as x. So we have x times a minus b equals to x minus 1. Then, to get a minus b, let's divide both sides by x. Divide this side by x. Divide this side by x. x, we cancel x here. And here we have a minus b. We then give us x minus 1 all over x. So, we can separate it all over x. And this will give us a minus b equals to 1 minus 1 over x. So, from here, we can bring this equation here under the first one. We have a plus b first, and we have a minus b now. So, let's take this a minus b under here, and we solve simultaneously. So, we have a minus b equals to 1 minus 1 over x. So, when we solve these two equations now, let's add so as to eliminate b. And uh, this will give us 2a, then b as done, then we have x plus 1 minus 1 over x. Then from there, let's rearrange it and we have 2a will be equal to x minus 1 over x, then plus 1. And uh, we have x minus 1 over x. We can replace that as a square. We have x minus, from what we are given here, a square is x minus 1 over x. So instead of writing x minus 1 over x, we can write just a square. And here we are going to have 2a equals to a square. This is a square now. Then plus 1. And then from here, let's take this 2a to this side. And we write it again and say this is a square minus 2a plus 1 equals to 0. And this can be written in the form 
a minus 1 all square. So this will give us a square minus 2a plus 1, which is equal to 0. So let's take the square root on both sides. Square root on this side will give us a minus 1, and square root of 0 is still 0. So a will then give us 1. By the time we take minus to that side, so a will be equal to 1. And let's recall that a square. So recall that a square is equal to 1 minus x minus 1 over x. From what we have here, we have a square equals to x minus 1 over x. And uh, since a now is equal to 1, so we can say that a square, which is 1 square now, 1 square is still 1. Here we can clear the SCM here by multiplying through with the SCM. So the SCM is x. Use x to multiply through. x times 1 will give us x. Then equals to x times x. That's x square. Then minus x times 1 over x. That will give us 1. Then we can form an equation with this. When we take x to this side, we have x square. Then minus x minus 1. It will equal to 0. And we can solve this quadratic equation now using the quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b. And b is minus 1. That's minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b squared. That's minus 1 squared. Then minus 4. a is 1. Then c. Minus 4 is c. c is minus 1. Then all over 2 times 1, 2a. Then from here we have x equals to minus times minus give us plus. That's 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square give us 1. Then minus times minus we have plus 4. Then over 2. So from here we get x to be equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And here we are going to have 2 values of x so x will be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and from here this will give us a negative answer and of course when we put it to the original equation this will not satisfy the original equation so this second one here is not a solution therefore we can conclude that the solution here is x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 so only this one will satisfy the equation given thank you for watching also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye